Hi everyone, I'm Adam Wright with Lee Schools TV. I am joined by Dr. Jeff Spiro, the Chief Academic Officer for the School District of Lee County. And we are here to discuss today the various instructional models that will be available for students this upcoming school year. There will be a survey going out this week to families and we want to give you as much information as possible to make an informed decision about which instructional model, instructional model students will be choosing, right? That's correct. So we will also be doing a Facebook Live on the School District of Lee County Facebook page. We'll be going into a lot more detail and we'll be answering your questions when it comes to these various models. So stay tuned for that. But for this video, we'll be getting into some general basics about the various models. So let's just dive right into it if we can. Thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. So the four options that will be available at the start of the school year, uh, we'll bring the graphic up on the screen. There'll be the face-to-face -face model where students will be physically going back to their brick and mortar campuses. The Lee Home Connect option, which is a, a new model. The Lee Virtual School and, of course, homeschooling. Now, there will also be distance learning available. That will be the fifth model, and we can talk about that a little later. Uh, I, I want to start though, you know, most people I'm sure are familiar with in-person education, face-to-face, -face, and even homeschooling, but I feel like a lot of families, students, and parents are maybe a little confused about the differences between Lee Virtual School and Lee Home Connect, especially since Lee Home Connect is a brand new model that we're introducing. So Dr. Spiro, if you can, can you just explain briefly the basic differences between Lee Virtual and Lee Home Connect? Great question, and I do think that is a question that a lot of our parents are wrestling with. What is the difference between both of these models? So let's start with the Lee Home Connect. I want parents to think of Lee Home Connect just like they would if their student was in school face-to-face. -face. You are basically taking that entire experience from the moment they arrived to school to when they dismissed that complete time frame, and they're just simply doing that virtually. So if I'm a high school student, and I start my day at seven o'clock, then I get out of bed, I, get, I eat breakfast, I take a shower, I get dressed appropriately, I log on to my computer, and there I will be having live, as we say in education, synchronous learning. So really that means it's live learning. My teacher is there on the screen with me, providing that direct instruction to me. Um, the teacher will use different ways uh, to get the lessons across to students, but it'll all be done virtually. So. My first class ends, let's say my first class ends at eight o'clock, then you have a, a class change that allows a student who has a home to go, home, go to the restroom, uh, grab something to eat, and then they come back to their computer, and now they log on to their next period, which would be a different teacher, who that teacher now is at their classroom and they're providing that live instruction to the student. So think of it in that mode, that it's basically replicating a student's day, but virtually. Lee Virtual School, that is more of a self-paced program where students work at their own pace. They work on instructional modules. So they have a unit of instruction that they're responsible to get through and they use their teacher on a periodic basis for resources to help them get through that self-paced module. So Lee Home Connect Live, Lee Virtual School, self-paced by the student with teacher support. So both of them are at home virtual learning. The, let's talk about Lee Virtual. So Lee Virtual, as you said, it's self-paced. So it might not be the best option for every student, right? So I would say if a student is already unmotivated in the classroom, they struggle to get some of their academic work done, they're not a self-starter, then I think Lee Virtual would be a challenge for those students. Um, because Lee Virtual, again, is self-paced. So it's, a, it's someone who is driven to get through that work and ask for help when he or she needs it. So Lee Home Connect is live. So students who, are, who, are, who choose the Lee Home Connect option, they would have the same hours as, a, as their regular school day, right? Correct. And their, their teacher, would their teacher be in his or her home teaching them from home or would they be in the classroom teaching them virtually? So teachers will be in their classroom teaching unless there's some other circumstances that will work through human resources department. They'll provide guidance for that. But ideally they're in their classroom, the teachers, providing that virtual instruction to students that are home. And so students, Lee Home Connect, students would be at home using a Chromebook? Correct. And what format would they, you know, what would they log into? So in the past, we used Zoom. We are not using Zoom for the upcoming school year. We are transitioning to um, Google Meets. 
which also works with every teacher's Google Classroom as well. Those are both the platforms that we're going to be using. And I know that some people have had questions about how would Lee Home Connect work when it comes to special area classes like art and music, PE, things like that. Sure. So if I'm an elementary teacher and I am doing the Lee Home Connect and I have a class full of students that are all with me assigned virtually, I as the teacher, I would have been working with those special area teachers to see what he or she was going to be teaching in their class so that I could replicate that and sometimes on a lighter 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 scale. They're not going to be able to replicate every activity activity exclusively because resources at home students might not have. But they're going to take those general concepts that they would be teaching in their special area classes and they will try to replicate that with students at home. PE will still happen. So if I'm an elementary student, um, you know, that teacher might ask students to do some sort of physical activity at home calisthenics, yoga, something of that nature, and maybe log that into a log so that that could be part of the assignment that the teacher is providing to that student. Um, in the secondary area, yes, it's going to be, it's, it is going to be a challenge for some of our um, elective teachers to provide some of, that, some of that instruction at home. But we did see, I will say through distance learning, a lot of great creativity. We saw, saw choral instruction take place, we saw plays being produced, so it can be done through some innovative methods, but absolutely it will be a challenge. And just briefly, what about advanced courses like Cambridge or IB? Would those be available through Lee Home Connect? So Lee Home Connect, all of your advanced courses are available because the teacher that already is teaching it is providing that same instruction to the student at home. Now Lee Virtual School only offers AP. Uh, Lee Virtual School does not offer IB or the ACE Cambridge program, and that's a big difference, so I'm glad you asked that question. And so Lee Home Connect, they start early in the morning and they're done by early afternoon, just like a regular school just day? Just like the regular school day. Um, can we talk about, do parents or students have to commit? What's the commitment? Is if they want to maybe return to physical campus after a certain time, how does that work? So for Lee Home Connect, we are asking families to commit for one quarter, a grading period, uh, before they decide to go back face to face. But we know that things change in a family's life. There might be a change in job. There might be some sort of health condition that changes that may force that family to make a decision to come back earlier. If that's the case, the family just works with their child's principal. Principals have that flexibility to allow students to go out of that program and come back face to face, or conversely, to go into the program if they feel like it's the best for their family. We're, we're trying to provide as much flexibility for our community as possible. We're at the same time trying to keep some cohesion inside of the schoolhouse so that kids aren't coming in and out, in and out, um, so it deters from that instructional continuity. And so if somebody is interested in Lee Home Connect as an option, how do they sign up for that? So that survey that's going out to families over the next two weeks, families will indicate which of the models they want, whether they're coming back face to face, whether or not it's Lee Home Connect, remember that live learning, whether or not it's Lee Virtual School, which is that self-paced module driven instruction, whether it's homeschool and homeschool is where the parents provide that instruction. Parents simply mark their choice on there. They're going to be putting their student ID on that survey and that information will be shared with schools so that the assistant principals can start building those master schedules and assigning students into those classes. Great, so just going back to Lee Virtual real quickly, um, again it's work at your own pace. You said module-based. Can you describe a little bit more what, what sure. module-based instruction means? Sure. Think of like a unit of instruction. Remember when you were in school, you had chapters, let's say, where you know, the teacher would ask you to do chapter 9 of a book, let's say, for example, and that's just like kind of a low-level example. But that's basically a unit of instruction. During this period, students will complete certain tasks uh, that they will work with with their teachers on an ongoing basis, and then they're assessed on those tasks. And that one you don't have to wake up at a certain time, you don't have to log in at a certain time, you can log in and do your work at your own pace at whatever time is best for you, right? Correct. And is there a commitment if you choose the Lee Virtual option and then if you want to leave Lee Virtual and go back to, uh, you know, in person face to face? Is there a commitment? Do you have a spot reserved at your school or anything like that? So two commitments. One, the parent's spot will be saved at the school they are at. So if I'm a family and I decide I want to go to Lee Virtual School, we will keep your seat at your current assigned school, allow you to go to Lee Virtual School. Now we are asking for Lee Virtual School, 
for one semester commitment. And that is because of the pacing of that curriculum is a little different than live under the Lee Home Connect. Um, and so working with Principal Schilling, we really feel like the best course of action is at that semester for a clean break for students, which also mirrors what they do on a regular basis anyway. So it's part of their normal procedure. So Lee Home Connect, one quarter, Lee Virtual School, one semester for a commitment. Great, and uh, Lee Virtual School has a, a great uh, frequently asked questions page on their website. I wanted to mention that if you go to uh, www.lvip.leeschools.net and then you go to the enrollment drop down menu and click on Virtual School 101, they have a lot of questions and answers on that page. It's a great resource if you're interested in learning a bit more. And also the phone number uh, to call for Lee Virtual School if you have questions is 239 three three seven eight one seven eight two great resources for you if you're interested in Lee virtual school uh, okay let's talk about just briefly homeschool education um, how does that work I know maybe some more parents now more than ever might be interested in, in that model what do they do if they're interested in, in that we have a homeschool education program correct we do we have a home education program the coordinator for that program is Meredith Barry um, they simply contact through, if you go to through the, web, the school district's webpage, there's contact information for homeschool. Uh, parents enroll to that program. Um, it talks about all the responsibilities that parents have to go through. Again, this is very parent driven. It's not teacher driven. So parents provide that instruction um, through the help of the school district of the resources that we have. All right. And the uh, phone number, if you're interested in our homeschool education program, is 239-337-8259. Okay, and when it comes to face-to-face, in-person instruction at our schools, we will be going in, we will be releasing a lot more information, more videos later this week about the specifics regarding that. Uh, but there will be a lot of safety precautions in place, correct? There will be a lot additional safety precautions in place. I just think it's going to be important for families to know that if they choose face-to-face -face instruction, it's going to, school's going to look different. Uh, for families. I think one of the noticeable difference though is we're going to be limiting the number of visitors on campus. So parent conferences, IEP meetings, those will all take place via virtually. Google Meets platform. So we're trying to mitigate um, any type of, we're just trying to mitigate concerns that could be on campus. Yeah. And we will be releasing more videos, much more information with more detail about what face-to-face -face instruction will look like. So be on the lookout for that. All right. And before we go, um, Let's talk about, so we just went over the four different options uh, available. There is a fifth model, there distance is. learning. Um, you know, that's in case we maybe need to shift um, from face-to-face uh, -face instruction to a distance learning. It will be different, though, correct, than the distance learning that students experienced uh, last school year, correct? I think that's very important to make that difference known to families. So if at any time we have to move to distance learning, and again, we're working with local health officials literally on a daily basis we're in communication with department of health and or lee health and we're having conversations with them so at any time we have to move to distance learning whether or not it's a classroom whether or not it's a part of a building whether or not it's a school or the entire district we will move to the same format that we would for the lee home connect so we would use the google meets we would use google classroom and it would be live for the student so what families experienced in the spring where students were doing kind of that self-paced, check in with your teacher on a regular basis is different because now, same as Lee Home Connect, students will log in live, teachers will take attendance every day, so there'll be attendance taken, um, work will be submitted, uh, there will be grading that's ongoing, so it'll be the same thing that would happen in a classroom, but again at home. So a student would mirror, would follow their regular schedule that they would in a brick and mortar school. And I think that's a big difference because you know, now families are going to have to get students up at their regular time for schools, uh, be prepared for school, and that way they can log in on time. And again, attendance is taken every day, grading occurs, um, classes, classwork submitted, there are assessments that take place. So everything that would happen in brick and mortar will take place through Lee Home Connect or the distance learning model. All right, Dr. Spiro, I, I know you and your team have been working around the clock. You've had a, a several large curveballs thrown your way this uh, past six months or so, uh, so we appreciate your hard work. Thank you. And uh, a reminder to all families out there, look, uh, keep an eye out for that survey that we will be sending you this week. And also, we will be doing that Facebook Live, taking your questions for the various instructional models that are available to you so you can have the most information 
to answer that survey that we will be sending you. And we will be pushing out more information and more videos throughout this week leading up to the school year. Thank you.